Hey there, I am Josh Short from Edit Video Faster. This tutorial is an overview of the paint effect in Avid Media Composer. Uh, this one is going to be a little longer than some of the other tutorials that I've done, but I am going to go pretty quickly through it. So if there's anything you want me to go over more in depth, uh, let me know. Also, this tutorial was requested by Tom over on Twitter. Uh, you can find me um, on Twitter at edit video faster. Uh, if there's ever a tutorial you'd like to see me do, uh, give me a shout over there or in the comment section here or over on my contact page which I will list below. Uh, lastly, before we get started, uh, the two video clips that we're going to be using are from Video Hive. Um, I will link that in the description below as well. Alright, on with the tutorial. First thing, after we have our footage in the timeline, I want to open up the effects palette, which is Command or Control 8. Find the image folder, and in there, there's the paint effect. Go ahead, take that, and drop it onto your clip. And then open up your effect editor, which is this guy here. The most important part of the paint effect is the mode. So that is right over here. If you click the fast menu, you can see there's a whole bunch. We're not going to get into all of them, but uh, we're going to get into a few of them here in this overview. So the first one is solid. Um, it's fairly simple. Uh, when you take one of these tools over here, you draw a shape. And uh, yeah, it's going to be whatever color is over here. I can make a you know blue polygon if I want. Um, all these tools, all these shape tools do a little bit something different. So you get circle and then this uh, free draw. So I can click and draw and complete it. And then whichever one is selected, let's click on this one. You can change different aspects of it. So it's opacity you can bring it down a little bit uh, you can add some feathering on the edges and then you can change the bias of that feathering so it can either go more towards the outside or more towards the inside so that's pretty much the solid mode it's fairly simple in what it does but if you're just trying to create a quick shape um, that's what you want to use so all you have to do is select the shape and hit delete and it goes away. So the next thing I, I want to show you is clone. Um, but first I want to zoom out a hair. So I'm just going to click the magnifying glass. All right. And so with the clone mode, I want to get rid of this green part of his chair. So what I do uh, under mode, click on clone. So I'm going to select the part that I want to copy and then move over the green chair. So I'm just going to click the rectangle tool and copy this area here. It probably won't be enough, but that's okay. Then all I do, I take that and I drop it here. All right, and if I want, I can copy it and paste it. And now there's a second one and I can slide that over. So now the chair is gone and that is the clone mode. Super simple and uh, very useful, kind of like the stamp clone tool in Photoshop. Next up is the blur mode. So I'm just going to select a circle. Let's say I want to blur out the guy's head. So I'm going to take the mode and hit blur and draw a circle around the guy's head. All right, make sure the opacity is all the way up and then I can change how much I want to blur him out and feather it a little if I want to. Um, and one more thing, since we're doing this, if we look, you can see the guy's head moves just a little bit. So we can keyframe our shape. Let's go ahead and click this keyframe button. Then you can move the shape. And then, as you can see, the shape moves between the two keyframes. Then I'll move back to that other keyframe. All right, there we go. Okay, next I'm going to move over to our other clip, but first I have to drop the paint effect on it. Next up is some of the coloring modes. So under the fast menu you can see 
Uh, you can select all these different ones if we choose lighten, draw square, all the way around it, it's going to lighten it and then you know you can then you can change the amount and all that. But the one I like the most is saturation. So go ahead, select saturation mode. I'm going to draw a rectangle over all of it. And this is not what I actually want. As you can see, uh, it looks weird, and that's not what I'm going for. I want to desaturate it. So under the Color tab, open that up, and under Saturation, take that and drop it all the way down. And now we have a black and white image. Cool. You can do that with Color Correction also. But when you add it with a race mode, it does something better. So I'm going to select a new shape using the polygon tool. And let's zoom in just a hair. And I'm going to draw this fish using the polygon tool. Just a nice rough outline, just so you can see the point of all this. Now go back to your effect editor, and then under mode, go ahead and hit erase. And there we go, we have our fish in color. So what erase mode does, it erases whatever you did on the shape below it. I hope that makes sense. So think of it as layers. So the first layer was to desaturate the whole image, and the second layer is the erase layer where we just erased what took place on the first layer and we're seeing the original layer underneath. So that's about it for this tutorial on the paint effect in Avid Media Composer. Uh, again, if there's anything you want me to go more in depth on, let me know. Um, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I come out with a new tutorial just about every Friday. And check out the website, editvideofaster.com, and read more and see more about becoming a faster video editor. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.